It is cloudy, started out sunny, but as you know, the clouds have been on the increase and that'll continue. Showers also will be on the increase. I'll show you why in a moment. And then showers really likely Friday through Saturday. Some heavy rain and gusty winds. Adjustment to the forecast is possible because we may have what's called a dry slot move in for Saturday. But here's our weather maker. It's this area of low pressure that as expected moved over Florida. Now it's going to start to move its way up the east coast, the southeast coast, and as it does, it's going to throw some moisture our way. So here's the Friday weather setup for you. This is in the morning time. Certainly a lot of the heavy rain starting to work their way in for us. Mainly light rain, but certainly some heavier rains are possible into the afternoon. And then as the low pressure continues to get a little bit closer to us, generally I would say maybe between Charleston and Wilmington, North Carolina, we're going to see a lot more of that rain move on in. So here's the look at Storm Team 2 Live Viper. Already we've seen a couple of areas of rain move through the region. That's why if you're going to the concert tonight. I would advise you to grab the rain gear just in case, but the heaviest rain is still a few hours away, so I think we're going to be able to squeeze in some decent weather as you look offshore, but again, we're not going to rule out the possibility, as we mentioned last night and the night before, that we could see some of these stray showers ahead of the main event, which is still a couple of hundred miles offshore for most of us, at, the, at least the heaviest rain, some of the lighter rain, just a lot less than that. So here is Vipercast, and this kind of takes us into the future. Our crystal ball here we go into Thursday evening. You see already those showers that are coming through now moving well back inland and some of the deeper moisture is staying offshore. Also keep in mind now the winds are going to start to elevate so we're going to see those gusty winds through the night tonight and through the day tomorrow. This is breakfast time and I think overnight that's when a lot of this rain is going to move on shore. Here we are at lunchtime that continues all the way through the evening time on Friday. Then as we get into Saturday we're going to start to see a lot of this heavy rain pull in but we're starting to see areas open up. There's that dry slot we talked about, and this is lunchtime on Saturday. So if this verifies, we might get a dry break during the day on Saturday after lunchtime. But keep in mind, it's still going to be a windy day. So regardless of the fact whether it rains or not, it's going to be somewhat uncomfortable because temperatures will be cooler too. 61 inland, 64 at the beach, cloudy skies. Those showers continue to develop and move on shore. Extended forecast. Storm Team 2 has already issued weather alert days for tomorrow and Saturday for the winds and the rain only 72 tomorrow only 67 on Saturday but then again might get a little dry pocket in there and that bodes well for Sunday and Memorial Day so this is not going to be a washout of a holiday weekend there will be rain to start and more sunshine to finish just in time for Memorial Day that's our inlet outlook here's a look at the beach windy at the beach we can see wind gusts well over 40 miles an hour at times so be ready for that showers cooler 70 at the beach tomorrow on Saturday showers maybe thunderstorms and 68 and then slowly but surely improving weather as we get into Sunday and Memorial Day.